Yeah. There's still a blockbuster that's open, yet yeah. yeah, that company is dead. It's been dead for years. That's actually that's actually a great example of um, of um, the advance the advance of markets making some businesses obsolete, but also bringing into life other possibilities for employment and other businesses. So that's something we can discuss later. That'd be awesome. <laughs> okay. So yeah. And also, did you know that Blockbuster was actually the first platform to have um, a home video viewing yeah. like without going anywhere? It was. Cool. It was. It had the original Netflix that uh, Netflix stole the idea from. Oh really? But um, uh, they oh, just. That's that, that's another possibility they, they we can just, go into intellectual they, property. They just didn't really care oh, yeah. about it enough, and they thought that um, uh, the future was gonna be all oh, still DVDs. Okay. Okay. Real quick, before we end, because we're about to end, we just got to the hour. So he just said something which is really good he said blockbuster no netflix stole the idea from blockbuster he used the word he used the word stole steal so did blockbuster did netflix really steal the idea first of all can you steal an idea yes. is that possible yes. Yes. you're all saying you can steal an idea okay but now let's go back to the definition of theft what's theft taking something that doesn't belong to you okay so you take my money it doesn't belong to you. It doesn't belong to you. You take it. I don't have my money. You have it, right? Mm-hmm. If you steal my idea, do I not have my idea anymore? You still have it. I still have my idea. You still-